Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 2nd of August 2022. Just got a few things to talk about here. First of all, you may well have heard of this Don't Pay UK campaign that's uh, been heavily promoted both in our kind of communities and more widely. And it's all to do with the very high fuel prices, gas and electricity prices and trying to organise some kind of resistance to that. And the idea behind this don't pay thing is that uh, on the uh, 1st of October, uh, everybody is going to basically stop paying their um, sort of gas and electricity bills. Now, you might think that's a good idea. You might not, I don't know. And that's not why I'm here. But I just thought I'd point you in the direction of a really interesting video I came across uh, today. And it's from David Clues of the United, uh, sorry, the Uni Unity News Network. And he is, well, what I regard as a good guy. He seems to do really good investigative journalism and comes out with some good stuff. So I think he's pretty... Uh, kind of trustworthy. So he has done a bit of investigation into this Don't Pay UK thing and he has got some very interesting information. Uh, I won't say too much more, it's totally down to you whether you want to go and see it or not, but he does provide another side of the argument and his well, the basic takeaway is, as always with these things, follow the money and it often reveals uh, something very different to what you might expect. So I'll leave it, this video on my website, fairplaynow.net slash must. I'll leave a link to that in the, sort of the description box below so you can watch it and come to your own conclusion on it. So it's very interesting anyway. And another thing, if you decide after watching that video that you're not gonna do the Don't Pay UK thing, there is another course of action you could take and an another video for you to watch. I can't put it in the same place or on here or anything uh, because I saw it on Telegram and it's always difficult linking videos on there to uh, sort of sites and YouTube and stuff but it's from a guy who apparently used to work for an energy company, one of the big ones. So he's kind of giving a bit of insider knowledge and he's, his video is basically, instead of kind of withholding payment, which is really just gonna get you in trouble with your kind of credit ratings and all that kind of thing, county court judgments and stuff, uh, he has got a much better strategy, according to him, uh, whereby you raise a complaint and you don't close the complaint, you make it go all the way up to the ombudsman and that really does hurt the uh, energy company, not least because it costs them £500 a time. But the guy explains it a lot better than I can in the video. So I'll leave that on my Telegram group, the Fair Play Now Telegram. I'll leave an invite link to that in the uh, description box below as well. So you can check that out and uh, see what that's all about. And I've pinned that video already. So you should be able to find it quite easily with a bit of luck and watch it. Again, another very interesting one. So a couple of bits of news I'll round this off with. Uh, first of all, I noticed that uh, Liz Truss, or one of the two remaining contenders for the next leader of the Conservative Party and therefore the next UK Prime Minister, uh, she has very recently said that she will never ever uh, bring back any kind of lockdowns. So... That's good news, and at least we've got it on record that she has said that, should she ever sort of decide to go back on it, which I'm sure she would do if she believed it was politically expedient for her. Um, but that's not really why I'm mentioning it. 
the reason I'm kind of discussing this isn't because, oh, Liz Trust says this, oh, isn't that great news? No, it's because you have to ask yourself the question, why has she said that? Well, why was the question asked in the first place and why did she respond like that? And reading between the lines, you've got to come to the, conclu the conclusion that uh, she knows uh, that she would never be able to get away with it again. I don't think any politician would ever be able to get away with it again. I think the sentiment in this country is just so far past lockdowns now that they know they couldn't get away with it. So I'm sure that's the real reason why she came out with that. So I thought that was really kind of interesting. And it's just another sign that, uh, you know, enough people in this country now are awake. Uh, I saw an article somewhere where uh, this guy was talking about a friend of his who was very much a normie, but he said he's just found out that the V companies haven't or have got immunity from prosecution if anything goes wrong. Um, something that uh, me and you have known for 18 months, two years, but um, it's something that, uh, you know, kind of normie type people are only waking up to now. Um, of course, it's one of the sort of big red flags that we had, wasn't it? Uh, well, hang on a minute, if they've got immunity and something goes wrong, what happens then? Uh, so, you know, such a big red flag and people are really waking up to it. And, and the bloke said that even though he's had three, he's not gonna have four because of that news. So they are waking up out there. And another bit of good news, just to finish off with, is apparently the Chief Constable of the Manchester, Greater Manchester Police Force, I guess it is, has said that uh, they should really stop wasting time on kind of chasing Twitter complaints. You, you know how over the last few years, uh, the police have been wasting taxpayers' money just by sort of taking seriously just any old snowflakes, uh, taking offence of whatever comment was made on Twitter. Uh, total waste of police time. And why they ever started wasting time like that in the first place, uh, you know, you've got to shake your head and wonder why. But it does seem that at least some of these chief constables are starting to wake up to this nonsense and are starting to speak out against it. Uh, so that is gratifying to see. And uh, it's interesting to note that uh, the Manchester Police Force are apparently, according to some survey or uh, award thing, whatever, uh, the most improved force in the country. So <laughs> uh, probably because they're not wasting time on nonsense and actually investigating real crime. So, uh, uh, which is always a welcome thing, isn't it? So probably why they've got that award. And long may this coming back to one senses kind of keep going because uh, just so much idiocy and nonsense out there, isn't there? Um, but hopefully this is a sign that things are starting to change. But with that, I'll leave it for now, let you go and check out those two videos. As I say, the link to the David Clues video will be in the description box below, and also an invite link to my Telegram where you can see the other video uh, will be in the description box below as well. So I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fair Play now. Thanks for watching.